Hello, this is Nevis again. I'm in as a student. I'm in the Google Classroom homepage. I'm going to go into English conversation. Um, I'm going to be looking at the work that I need to get done so I can actually click on this. It's one way of getting to the work that I need to get done. So I'm just going to click on the very first file that we were supposed to do. Clicking on Getting Acquainted. And if I click on there's two things I can do. I can either click straight away onto the Google document or I can go into look at the details of the assignment and here it is. The easiest thing for me to do at this point is to click on this document. I don't need to add it. This is I can add this to the Google Drive and or I can create another document but at the, I don't want to do this now it's already here for me it actually has my name on it that's because the teacher made sure that each student got one Google document with their name on it so all I need to do before I submit here is and it's telling me it hasn't been completed because I didn't submit yet so I'm just going to click on it and it will take me to that Google document that the teacher shared with me. And here we are. So this is the About Me fact sheet and it's giving me some instructions by the teacher and it's ask, the teacher's asking me to fill in this fact sheet with the questions are on the left. All I need to do is actually click on the opposite box and answer write my answer in here. So once I've done that, here the teacher has put in a, an avatar. I can go in and change that avatar or I can uh, put a photograph if I want. But in this case an avatar is okay. I'm going to be happy with that one. So there are two ways now of actually submitting that. I can actually go up here and press on submit here or I can go back to this getting acquainted um, assignment and click on submit here. Now it's telling me um, that it's going to attach that document. Once I click on uh, submit it's going to come up to say that that document is now uh, attached to that submission. So I'm going to go ahead and submit. Now at this point here, if I'm not happy or if I've just remembered that I need to forget that I need to actually go and do something, I can actually go here and um, take back that submission. Okay, so I can actually uh, unsubmit it or take it back. So I'll show you how that's done quickly. And it's asking me in Italian obviously here um, that I can go ahead and modify and then submit again so I'm just going to do that and it's back to normal now if I just go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's been submitted submit I'll go back to the stream and the stream will show me if I go down to that assignment go find where it is right down the bottom here we go and there it's giving me a green tick saying that it's been completed I can open it again and at this point I still have this option to take it back if I want to. So I can always uh, unsubmit, take it back, fix it up and put it back in. Also if for example the teacher gives me a comment which will appear here then I can also take it back, fix it up and put it back in if the teacher is asking me to do that. So that can happen. So that's how to submit an assignment that has been completed. Thank you for listening. See you in class.